What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is gameplay and my first impressions with the Zen Meteor, the PlayStation exclusive exotic snipe rifle introduced into Destiny with the April update. Now one of my friends Axis Wowser was lucky enough to get this weapon and he actually lent me his account so I could play a few strikes with this weapon, get used to it, and then bring you guys again just my first impressions talking about really how this gun functions. Again, this is actually me playing in the background, getting this gameplay, he didn't just send me this footage, I'm not about that life. Now let's start out by going over the perks of the Zen Meteor. The first one is a passive perk that you have automatically unlocked just when you have this weapon equipped, and that is Dynamite. It grants explosive rounds, so yes, this sniper rifle automatically shoots in explosive rounds. Additionally, rapid kills with every round in the clip load an extra, higher damaging round for 5 seconds. Next you have the choice of CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, or lastly, Smart Drift Control. Next we have Underdog, this weapon grants a boost to range and handling when your health is low. Next we have another choice of 3 between Fitted Stock, the really heavy hitter Field Scout here which is actually amazing, which grants increased ammo capacity, and lastly Injection Mold. And the final unique exotic perk is with a laser beam. The extra round from Dynamite causes a massive explosion. So essentially, how this gun's exotic perks work is that with your three initial rounds in your magazine, if all three of those shots are killed, so if you kill Thrall, Thrall, Acolyte, let's just say, you then instead of going down to zero and having to reload, you're then going to go back up to one. A new round will be loaded into the magazine. This round will do increased damage and as long as you have with a laser beam unlocked, it's going to cause a huge explosion. Honestly, this explosion is as big as pretty much a rocket launcher explosion would be. And the damage is frankly comparable. Now when everything goes right and you actually get to activate this ability, getting 3 kills in a row, which by the way isn't that difficult to do because this gun does do a ton of damage, and then get that extra round, and by the way when you have that extra round, you have 5 seconds to shoot it and that's when this gun is actually going to glow with fire, and then you can actually get that last round on enemy, explode it doing massive damage to that enemy and all enemies around. Again, that is awesome. However. At the beginning I said, you know, when the stars align essentially, when you can make this happen, and that's definitely the downside of this gun, is that it actually takes a lot of work to make all of that happen. Firstly, getting 3 rapid kills. This is the main holdback of this gun. The fact that you actually have to get kills, you can't just get, you know, assists, you can't do damage, you actually have to kill the enemy. This is going to be a downside when you're versing any sort of a larger enemy, even wizards with a shield, this gun can't take those down in a single shot. You're actually going to have to shoot them twice. You know, it's going to be the same exact thing for Hallowed Knights, usually just for any bigger enemy that you're going to have to take multiple shots to kill. It's really not bad, like I'm not saying it's a bad thing about this gun because you can finish off those enemies in just two shots. You can kill most enemies, you know, in the game because this gun does so much damage. But if you do that, if you have to take two shots to kill one enemy, you are not going to activate the dynamite perk. You won't get that extra round, which is definitely a downside. Additionally, remember that you're obviously not going to have all that stuff happening for one of the main uses in PvE, at least for a sniper, which is taking down a boss. You know, just shooting a boss in the head over and over and over again isn't going to trigger any of these abilities. So, in summary, the positive things about this weapon, firstly, it's a new exotic, thank goodness, new exotics are always awesome, unless you're on the Xbox, obviously that kind of sucks, and this weapon is a very good handling, you know, high damaging snipe rifle, just feels good all around, and it natively has explosive rounds, every single shot is going to be dealing explosive round damage, so that is definitely good if you shoot like a thrall, for example, you can damage all of the different enemies around him, and even kill several thralls at once, so that is is a good thing. Additionally, when you're able to do everything right and then get that with a laser beam and dynamite perks to trigger, you're going to get a extra bullet added to your magazine, so it's going to go up to four rounds in a magazine. You're going to have a massively damaging round that even does a huge explosive blast radius. That's all awesome. 
However, the downsides of this gun is that the things you have to do to make all of that happen are pretty substantial. Most of the time, you aren't going to be able to trigger dynamite and with a laser beam simply because you're going to be fighting, you know, higher health enemies like wizards with shields, like hallowed stuff, like axes stuff, like minotaurs. All of those things are going to require two shots to kill and therefore you aren't going to be able to activate the perks properly, which is again a downside. Now, for PvP, I actually didn't play any PvP matches with this gun, just out of respect for my friend. You know, I took his account and it's the first day of all this stuff coming out. I didn't want to have to also get PvP footage for this gun, but there are some good things in terms of PvP going for this gun. Firstly, it does enough damage that it can snipe off res. Secondly, if you're able to get that triple kill, you're actually going to be able to get basically a free round of ammunition, which is definitely nice. And thirdly, Field Scout, especially since all of the sniper rifles just got a nerf in terms of their ammunition, we'll have to see how much Field Scout actually matters. And if you can get a decent amount more ammunition with Field Scout in PvP with the Zen Meteor, it might actually become a player, even though it's one main downside for PvP is that it doesn't have any aim assist related perks, it doesn't have hidden hand. Now that's going to be it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating or sharing this video. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.